Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amar Kumar Ram. Today we are going to continue this series that is on micro frontend authentication. In the last video, we have added model federation custom builder package in all of our three applications that is book app, book list and reports. The same is running on 4200 port, 4300 port and 4400 port respectively. Here book app is the host application whereas book list and reports are remote applications. And today we are going to expose a piece of code from from booklist application and reports application. For that, let's go into the VS code. For booklist remote application, we will create a booklist data module. For that, I'll open a terminal and we'll go inside booklist application. Now, we will run the command ng, g for generate, m for module, booklist, hyphen data and press enter. As we can see, booklist-data folder has been created. Now we will create the respective component files. For that, we will run the command ng, g for generate, c for component, booklist-data and we will press enter. Now we have all the required files. After this, we will go to the appmodule.ts file and we will include this booklist-data module file inside the imports array of appmodule file. For that, we will write comma and then booklist data model. Please make sure that you have imported the same. Now we will open a new terminal and we will go inside reports application. Let's open the reports application in the sidebar. So we will go inside reports, source and app. Here also we will create a module file called reports-data. For that we will run the command ng, g for generate, m for module and then reports-data. Now we will create the respective component file by running the command ng g4 generate c4 component and then reports hyphen data and we will press enter. After creation of component we will go to the app module file of the reports application. As we can see that this app module belongs to reports application. Here we will include the reports data module in the imports array of app module. Please make sure that you have imported the same and save the file. Now we'll close all the file and we'll open webpack config of booklist remote application and reports remote application. For that, we'll search for webpack config and we'll open for booklist also for reports. In both the file, we will add a key value pair inside the output object and we will write script type with value text forward slash javascript and save the file. We'll copy the same and paste in the webpack config file of reports application inside the output object. As we have changed the configuration file, we will restart the server for these two applications. That is booklist one. So we'll stop the server here and we'll restart it. And same we will do for reports application. As the server has started, let's see if it is working fine over the browser or not. So here we can see if I refresh the reports application, it is working perfectly fine. And same for booklist application, it is working perfectly fine. Now, if you are wondering why we have added script type key inside the output object, then let me tell you that it is because of a warning. And what warning? For that, let's go to the browser and let's take one example in between booklist or reports. So I'll open inspect element inside the booklist application and here in the console I am not able to see any error or warning if I refresh the page. But since we have not added script type in the book app application yet and if I open the inspect element for this we'll be able to see an error saying cannot use import.meta outside a model. So to overcome this we need to add script type key in the output object of the webpack config file. We will add this key in the book app application as well in the coming video. Now let's do the last part that is we will expose the created module in both the projects from webpack config file. For that first we'll go to the booklist application and inside this module federation plugin we will uncomment the exposes object along with name and file name key. Here we will keep the default file name that is remote entry.js and the default name which is the project name itself that is booklist and in the exposes object we will refer to the booklist hyphen data module path. So let's open that booklist hyphen data module file. We can copy the class name and we'll provide in the webpack config as a key and the path of the file is source then app then booklist hyphen data and then booklist hyphen data module dot ts file. So we'll provide the same that is source app and then the folder that is booklist hyphen data and then booklist hyphen data dot module dot ts. If we see in the explorer then it is source app 
booklist-data and then booklist-data.module.ts so we are done with the exposed module configuration same configuration we will apply in the reports application for that we will go to the reports application webpack config file and we will uncomment name file name and exposes object in the exposes object we will expose reports data model so we'll copy the class name and we'll provide it as a key and then we will provide the path of this reports hyphen data model that is source then app and then reports hyphen data and reports hyphen data dot module dot ts so we are done with the changes now we'll restart the server for book list application and reports application so let's quickly do that as the server has started so both the applications should expose their respective module file with the file name remote entry dot js let's quickly verify over the browser so for the book list application if we type localhost 4300 forward slash remote entry dot js then we can see the exposed file which will have book list data model similarly if we go to the reports application and type localhost 4400 forward slash remote entry dot js then here also we will be able to see webpack exposed file containing reports data model as we can see here now we have successfully exposed the required modules from both the applications and in the next video we will see how to consume this in our host application that is book app till that be happy take care signing off